So tonight, welcome. Tonight, we will present you a new app called LeafScan. Actually, it's an app that we developed. Alice, Guillaume, where is Guillaume? Guillaume is there. <laughs> Since two weeks, from scratch, we try to do our best. And um, actually, it's quite simple. It's an application, a web application, that by scanning a leaf, the system detects if First of all, the name of the, uh, the name of the plants, but also if the if the plant is sick, or the disease at least. So, as the others, I mean, due to the time the time that, that we got, we only concentrate of 14 species and only 25 diseases. But just for those amounts of diseases, we need more than yeah 60 or nearly 60,000 pictures, which which is quite a lot. The yeah. That's quite complex, but don't, don't, don't be afraid of that. Uh, we start by making, like the others, by making layers to have a system that goes image layers by layers to convert an image to a text. But actually, a few days after, we, we use what we call a boosted models, uh, pre-trained models. And in this case, it's called the VGG16. I will, I will not go into details about the VGG16, but it's not. It's just a model that has been trained by huge company, having huge, a lot of computers. So they, they, uh, they train, I think, more than 10 million images. And what we have done, we just changed the last layers to fit to what we need for, uh, for leaf scan. If we go to the real application, you will see that is indeed simple. Voila. So Alice is just uploading an image. By the way, if you use this application with your mobile, the uh, camera app will open immediately. So don't, don't, don't be afraid of that. And uh, if you uh, launch the scan, the scan will go through all layers that I've explained to. So resizing, rotate, random rotation, and at the end, we do have a prediction. Yeah, in this case, I think it's correct. It's indeed a tomato with some disease. We can, it's clearly done. Um, just for fun, because we had time, we plug this deep learning application to another one, which is ChatGPT in this case, giving us advice how to take care of this tomato plant. So two good advice, I, I presume. Voila. <laughs> Certainly. So one can be improved because in two weeks we cannot do everything. As you noticed, only 40 categories, which is not enough. So we need to train a lot more disease and a lot more plants. But for that, you understood, we need a lot of pictures. Secondly, it's not really optimized for mobile, even if it's working. So there we, we need some web dev guys to improve that. And last but not least, um, I mean, the system take the first image, the first leaf of the pictures. In case of there, is, there are leaves in the background, we might have issues. So we need to tackle and fine tune the models to take care of the first image instead of all of the image, all the leaves are in the pictures. Voila, we want to thank you. And especially this weekend, it's a hot, some, uh, it's a hot, yeah, hot, hot days uh, tomorrow and after tomorrow. So if you go walking, take your mobile phone with you and take care of your plant. Thank you. Thank you.